Hello everyone, I'm Robin with Robin's Wreath 3 and Robin's Personalized Gifts. Today we're going to be making some beaded badge holders. These are the badge reel holders. A person would put their badge there and then when they have to scan something, just pull it down. I have a few examples of some I made this weekend. Now one thing you have to keep in mind and I found this out the hard way. I went ahead and I put a little resin with some glitter on there. If they have a really tight badge, they won't be able to get these through. So I'm going to make this optional if they want glitter on there or not. Um, this is Tis the Season. This one is football and coffee. I mean, I'll pull them up so you can see them. A little bit better. There we go. But it's very simple. Now, one of the things I need that I did not bring in, so I would get one. When making these, you want to be able to hold your your reel tight. And I have. Not in that drawer. Let me just look. Not in that drawer. Now, if ever you've been to the hospital and they've treated your wound, they've used these to clamp something or other. So. They throw these out after they're done. <laughs> so if you don't have any and you're at the hospital, you might want to grab one of these. You know, you pinch it down and it keeps the reel from going back in. Okay. Now, put on some glasses here so you can see what we're doing. Now, in this little plastic unit that holds this, is the end of this rope. Now, in order to get to that, we are going to want to pull this apart and take that off. We are going to put that back on. So, and let's see if I can get this down in there. Just using my pin to kind of push the knot through so I can clip it. Now I'm doing this so I can get this little plastic unit off because I'll need this to be able to put the beads on. So there's three we're working with right here. Fall is proof that change is beautiful. That's a little fall rainbow. Got some pumpkins in there and some flowers. So we are going to find some beads to kind of match that. Now, you know, we got a few we can try here. Now I'm going to go ahead with this brown one. I think that really goes nice with it. Then I'm going to go ahead and find a smaller one to go after that. And I just had them in my hand. There we go. Nope, that's not orange enough. And when I order my beads, I always indicate on the outside of the packet how much I paid for the bead. That way, when I go to sell this, I know how much I have in the pieces that went with it. And I like this because this is kind of like a faded peach and it kind of matches the flower in there. 
And then I like to put these spacers in between. And I think, ooh, I think this is, nope, that's about the same color. So I usually try to put about three or four beads on here. So I'm thinking I want to add one of these in between. And I think I'm just going to go with a diamond one in between. So I'm going to start with my biggest bead and I'm going to thread that on. Then I'm going to go ahead and thread on my little diamond spacer. And then I'm going to put this on. Now, I may go ahead and put one more below. So let me see what I got. I have more beads coming. And they actually are different colors. I have beads coming for fall, beads coming for Christmas. Let's see what one of these looks like. I could go with a black one. But let's see what else we've got. Let's just go with a, another diamond one. And then we'll just kind of leave it plain. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like that. All right. Now, when you're threading this back through, make sure you thread it through the tiny hole and not through your big hole. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn off the camera and stop it and go get my little lighter. Okay. And what I'm going to do with this lighter is I'm going to go ahead and light the edge of it and then kind of make sure that I can get it flat. There we go. And then that'll go through that hole. Actually, it's a little wider than I expected it to be. So I'm just going to trim at it. There we go. I'm going to put it through the hole. But I don't want it going through this big hole. I want it coming through the side. If you put it through that big hole at the bottom, what's going to happen is it's not going to hold your knot. So now we want to put a knot on the end of this. And then we want to go ahead and close that knot. And we're going to trim what's below. And I'm going to go ahead and pull that through. So see, it's back in its place. It's very tight. Now we're going to take this and put it back where it was. And we're going to go ahead and bend it together again. Now I'm going to start out that way. And you want it going side to side. Now I think I have to get it closed just a little bit more in order to do that, but not too much. So I'm using two needle nose pliers here. Now we're gonna take this and put that back in the one side and then bring the other one to meet up with it. Through the hole that we didn't want it to go through. So we're gonna just work at it a little bit at a time. Okay, 
doesn't want to cooperate. So I'm going to open it up a little more. And I'm going to close it slowly. <laughs> oh, don't you just love it? Now, come on now, you got to cooperate. Almost. There we go. Now we can close it. What I need is a regular parent needle nose, not these curved ones that I have in my left hand. There we go. Now we've got that right back in place. Now with this, I'm gonna hold it gently once I release that. Now you could use other things to clamp it. You could use one of these. I think even one of these would work. But I have these where they kind of lock in place. Okay, so we've got everything we need right there. So we're just going to snap this. And now we're going to take this piece and we're going to attach it. And in attaching it, I'm going to use some of this JB Weld Extreme, Super Weld Extreme. And I'm going to actually put the glue on the badge reel. And then we're going to put that on top. Now my aim is when I'm putting this on is to have it this side up so I can make sure that I'm getting my wording where I want it. And then I will lift it and make sure that I'm straight. Oh, that's right on. Ooh, we like that. And then I'm going to just sit that off to the side and let that set up. And there we have our first fall is proof that change is beautiful. Very simple, very elegant. So let's go on to another one. Now this one says my favorite teacher, my favorite turkeys call me teacher. And I thought that was really a cute one. It's got some little turkeys on there. So we're making this for a teacher. So again, we're gonna pull this out. Now let's not use that and show you. Nope, yep, nope, it's not gonna work with the Dollar Tree one. Unless we just pinch the side, all right? So again, we're going to take this off. Okay, we had a little problem with the camera, but we're good now. All right, so we went ahead and we put the turkey on, the red bead. Now we're going to put the yellow one on. And this brown one. And then... Let's see if we can get it through the hole. Yes, we can. All right, so we're going to use this. To push it through that canal. And then we're going to grab it with this. We're going to go ahead and tie a knot. it tight and then kind of just shoot that on the end because it kind of melts the pieces on the bottom okay now we're going to go ahead and put our little tag holder in place For that, we need two. Okay, I'm just going to squeeze it back in place. I'm going to go 
little bit further so we are secure. There we go. Now our teacher, Turkey, is going to go on here. So again, we're going to use our Supreme, our JB Weld Supreme Glue. Now I'm putting it on this rim around the top. set this on it and we're gonna whoops check the back and see if we're straight and then let the glue set up and we've got our turkey teacher badge holder now like I said some people will add a little bit of resin and some glitter in here. Make sure the teacher's badge can accommodate this slipping through. Most of them are very tight. There's usually like a little rectangle on the top of their badge that this will slip through. Now you could, well, you can't really. You could do it this way, all right, where you slip it through and put this towards the back and then just glitter the top of this. So you're only glittering one side. So they will have to know to slip that through their badge. And that way then you still have a little bit of coloring because this can always be turned, this little plastic unit right here. All right. This one says count your blessings. So this is the last we're gonna do. So we're pulling it out. We are clamping it so we don't have it retract because if you've got this undone and you don't have this tight enough, this whole thing will go flipping right in there and then you've ruined it, you can't use it. Unless you can fish that rope out again, but chances are you can't. So, make sure you have something really tight. That's why I like to use these, because you can clamp it and lock it in place. Okay, we've got a stubborn one here. So... Go. Fish out your little rope. Now remember, don't pull it through the, the bottom hole and knot it because it will just fall right back into place. It will not stay. And sometimes you got to work at it a little bit to get that little knot through. And sometimes a pair of tweezers works just as good as this. So we're just going to snip off the edge, pull this off. So for this, I'm looking at some orange, some sunflowers. Now I do have a sunflower. I have some sunflower beads. That would be cute on there. So let's go ahead and put a sunflower bead in there. Let's go ahead and find a nice green one to put on there. Not sure on that one. So let's see what we've got. Colors that interest me that might look 
really nice with this. I'm thinking maybe that orange would go good with this. make sure when I order that I look for like Thanksgiving collections and that's actually a darker green so I'm thinking we need a different color so what we got here we could probably use this orange be cool in between there because it's got the yellow in the middle and the orange on the outside so let's go with that bottom. And here's a brown one. Let's see what that looks like together. The nice thing about this is if you don't like a combination you can go back and change it before you knot everything. Now if I were to use one of these, this is really wide. So I actually have these little plastic spacers and I usually add one or two in there and then that keeps it from going back and forth. That's kind of different. Let's go with that one. So we're going back through the little hole, which we can't get through, so we're going to trim it. Let's see if we can get in now. Yep. Now see it went through that bottom hole, and I don't want it through that bottom hole. So I'm going to try and retrieve it. Put our knot in there. Want or not down further. Now I'm going to put it in just a little bit closer so you can see better. Then we're going to go ahead and pull that through. Make sure it's tight. And then we're going to go ahead and release. Very different, huh? That looks pretty. A lot of people love sunflowers. Then we're going to glue this on here. So our weld, which 
should be out extreme. little crooked so I'm gonna fix it. Yep, don't you even think about it. There we go. So we've got count your blessings. My favorite turkeys call me teacher and our rainbow one. Fall is proof that change is beautiful. Now, usually I sell just my plain beaded rail, plain ones without the beads. Okay, that would be, you know, just this and the reel with the tag. I usually sell those for $9.95. If they have beads, it can be anywhere from $11.95 to $12.95. Because you have to consider the cost of your beads in there. Okay. So if you have any questions, please be sure to leave them in the comments and I will see you on Wednesday. Thank you.